I need to ask my dad why this happened because it's kind of crazy. I'm kind of like connected with my dad now. Um, and the last interview that we did, like I think it was like five years ago, 2015. I think that's when yeah. it was. Um, I didn't. I wasn't connected with my dad five years ago. Okay. You know. So when we did that first interview, I was not connected with him. And now we're finally connected. And like it's crazy to me uh, when he was when I was in his uh, my mom's stomach. He actually kicked me, like kicked the stomach, kicked my mm. mom in the stomach. I don't know what the what the world was wrong with him or like what the intentions were, you know. So I was basically really raised in Montgomery and it was a pretty cool. Like I really had um, it's just a lot of deaths that I that I witnessed mm. um, in 2011. I lost my cousin. Um he just graduated high school and he got killed in a neighborhood called Gibbs Village. And like growing up in Montgomery, it was just like a hard, hard, like it's like a concrete jungle. And it's like only the strong survive. I, single parent home, um, my mom, I watched her literally struggle her whole life, like just trying to live for her kids and, and make a living for her kids. Um, it's an interesting story. And I need to ask my dad why this happened, because it's kind of crazy. I'm kind of like connected with my dad now. Um, and the last interview that we did, like, I think it was like five years ago, 2015. I think that's when yeah. it was. Um, I didn't I wasn't connected with my dad five years ago, oh, okay. you know. So when we did that first interview, I was not connected with him. And now we're finally connected. And like, it's crazy to me uh, when he was when I was in his uh, my mom's stomach. He actually kicked me, like kicked the stomach, kicked my mm. mom in the stomach. I don't know what the what the world was wrong with him or like what the intentions were, you know, but um I need to ask him that. But yeah, I, I was I was I grew up in a single parent home. Okay, well then let's talk about how did he come back into your life and how are you guys connected now? Yeah. So um like my mom just like kind of they they're working on like their friendship a little bit. And um, ever since then, like, he'd been coming around and what's up, like, what's up, this is my son or blase, blase. And for me, it's just, it, it, it was kind of awkward because it's just like, he's coming around, but we haven't talked about these issues. And that's what I'm processing in my mind right now. It's just like, like, I want to talk about these issues, but at the same time, it's just like, I'm closer to the guys who like discipled me, like the guys who discipled me. I'm closer to them and they're like more of a father figure to me. Um, so he came around like just him and my mom hanging out and it's kind of awkward. I'm not going to lie. Like it's kind I'm like, dad, like this, is my father, like this, is my dad, like this is the guy who the reason why I'm here and I really don't feel comfortable or have a really personal, personal relationship with him yet. So, yeah. So then this is new, like, yeah. Okay. I saw that you posted somewhere a text um, between you and your dad and you said that you posted like I, the I love you post. Mm, yeah. What was the significance behind that? Yeah, so um, think, I think it was Father's Day, if I, if I, if I don't believe, I mean, if I believe. I think it was Father's Day or something like that. And... Um, I texted him. I was like, yo, like this is my first time ever telling him happy father's day. Like, you know, like just cause I'm trying to at least start on building a relationship with him. And I told him happy father's day. He was like, thank you, son. Love you. I believe that was the context of it. And I'm just like, yo, like I'm 22 years old and I haven't heard my father, my dad um, tell me that he loved me before. So that meant a lot to me because it's just like, I knew him for a few years, probably like two, three years. And he didn't never tell me that he loved me. And like, just for a guy, for me, it was like a guy just coming in and it was kind of awkward because I never knew how to navigate around him. Like he didn't, he didn't teach me how like to put a tire on or change my oil or stuff like that. So, or check my oil, nothing like that. Yeah. So when he told me that it felt like kind of a weight, Mm -hmm. lifted off of my shoulders because